this up. Basically, in this video, we're going to make, be making this grillage. Um, all this is is a thing for a crane to rest on. So as you can see here, these are these represent crane legs, and they rest on these, and these connect to. So they rest on this beam and this beam, and they those connect to this one and this one, and this one and this one connect these out here. Now these then take the forces down through here and into the core walls. So there's a wall over there and a wall over here, and there is also well, there's a wall directly underneath this one. So this isn't necessarily the the floor that this is on isn't going to take the load. It's the um, it's going through the core walls. The floor does provide some support, but it's more in the walls. These are their own individual family, as are these. These as well. This these are the, this one and this one are fully adaptive. Same with that one and that one. Um, so you can change the number of bolts and rebar things in there. Uh, this is well, the one I used wasn't adaptive, but the one I make will be. These are some braces and some structural stiffeners there, and an um, adaptive bolted plate. Um, yeah, and I've cut these beams, um, and there will be connection plates here to connect them also. So, this is a very interesting task to do, and you should learn how to do these things make these things if you want to learn uh, advanced steel connections and ways to model them this is a temporary works model but you learn so much that you can take into permanent works if you can model this you can probably model well I'd say anything but if you can model this by yourself without me um, if you can practice to get to that level then you'll be able to model practically anything from a steel perspective because then you can think so on to such a high level anyway I'm gonna say new con structural template what I want to do first is I want to set up the building itself we're going to create a very basic building in this video um, and I'm not using my own template because I want you to be able to just follow me I have a video explaining how to make your own custom template so you should check that out First thing I normally do when I use their template is I delete out the analytical models, don't need them, sorry the analytical plans, and then I come to manage and I say purge, un oops, purge unused, this way let me, let me show you why I do that, if I come here and say wall I want a structural wall, look how many I've got, I've got brick ones and all these ones and gen just random ones um, I don't want all of that I'm not going to use them I'm only going to use concrete or I'm going to create my own custom ones so I'll come to manage and I'll just purge everything now you don't have to do that but I like to do that now when I go to a structural wall I just have one type of wall that I can duplicate and change uh, same with doors see no doors are loaded in now I just load in whatever I need but I've taken everything else from the template like section marks and elevations and whatever else anyway um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, at level one I'm going to place a structural concrete floor oh actually I can say okay yeah leave it no I don't want to load one come to north elevation I'm going to label this 000. Just leave a dash. And come here, click that, say CS. Pick lines, offset 3 meters. Oh no, it's, this one's in millimeters. It only says, th it says it in meters. Hmm. If I just name that one zero 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 one zero zero two. 
Oh yeah, they're, they're not automatic. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way up to... I'm wondering, can you array these? AR. Oh, you can. Cool. I want... I don't know. I'm not going to group and associate. Um, let's say... more there you go boom 18 levels I'll just make it a nice 30 levels altogether well including zero 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 so 31 levels if you include the ground floor anywho come to 3d mode I want to copy this well first I want to edit that floor type and I want to duplicate and say concrete three hundred millimeters that's fine edit the structure change the material there to concrete cast in place, well, I'll just call it that one. Mm. Use render appearance, I like doing that, you don't have to do that, but cool. apply, okay, great. Now, change this to fine mode and change this to consistent colors. Say, con control, select it and say control C. Paste to selected levels. One, and I want to go up to 12, yeah? And I'll paste to selected levels again. Only 13. Double click that one, drag it in. Say OK, and then copy, paste aligned. From 14 right up to 30. Boom. So that crane is going to go over here. Yeah. Now, if I come to level. What's this one? 13. Oh, you know, in real life, they actually don't have level 13s on buildings, believe it or not. Oh, ooh, okay, we have a problem here. Ah, crap. Okay, come to view. Plan views. Structural floor plan. You need to select these because these were arrayed. And say OK. Yeah, now Revit recognizes them as actual plans. So number 13, I'm going to leave number 13 in this. And I'm going to create a wall, structure, wall, concrete, yeah that's already done as concrete. I'm going to just do this rectangle, we'll make this a core wall, uh, we'll just say it's like a really fat one like that. Really big core. And then I'm going to select this and say CS and I'm going to have one, let's say 2.6 meters in from there. And then escape, same, 2.4 meters from that one. These dimensions don't matter, but if you really have to know what I chose, so DI for dimension. The outside dimensions are that, and the inside dimensions are that, and the middle one is that, so use whatever you want. And then from the middle, yep, anywho. Uh, 
I'm going to select this now and CS come here here AL for align from there to there and then yeah that's it um, so what I've done now is I've got walls that are f well I thought they'd be floating but they're not this is level 12 so the walls have been drawn from level 13 as a base with an offset of minus 3000 so if I set that to 0 and set this one to 14 yeah that's how it should have been done I don't know why but Revit actually defaults to things like that I'm going to select them all well I've selected something too much analytical wall okay cool just the walls change that to 0 and change that to 14 done okay I also have duplicate floors here I, oh no I don't normally when it they look like that they are duplicate so it doesn't matter that these walls are coming through um, clashing and that it's not a big deal um, we're gonna leave them as they are now what you can do is you can extend these these are all gonna go all the way down to the bottom and all the way to the top but you can extend them down but we don't want to do that we don't do that in structural we we make them separate so that we can tag them separately so we know how many walls we need to cast in place for our schedule and that's why I did this outside bit so that I can see my my line um, so I could put more walls inside here but I'm not going to there's no, no real need for what we're doing we're not designing the building as such um, well let me just do this and let's say let's say the core is designed like this see it by default if I select this and say CS it's defaulting to that base constraint of 12 should be 13 top one should be 14 yeah I mean, I don't know what the problem is. Why does it do that? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, I'll work that out and talk about it in a later part of this video, this series. You know, I'm also going to turn off the analytical model. I'm going to say visibility analytical turn off. Yeah, because it's making me, it's picking them and it's really annoying me. Top constraint. 14 base constraint 13 13 oh take the offset off right so come back to 13 uh, I'm gonna say SL for split there and there TR there to there and there to there. TY. Oh, it's one of the shortcuts I have at work. It's this one you want. Trim extend to single element. That to that, and then that to that. Yeah. Now you select all of these. Well, I'm just come show you in 3D. Select these and. I want those to move base constraint 11 top constraint 13 well no top constraint 12 that's where those will end and now I'm going to copy paste to selected levels 0 down to 11 whoops paste to selected levels that one to that one so one to ten those are the ones I missed yep 
I'm gonna let the core go down because eventually it would go down into a basement and into the foundations and things. So, ooh, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna keep it separate. Select these. Say copy, paste to select the levels. Zero all the way to that, to 30, and I'm gonna take out 12. No, I should have taken out 13. Yep. Well, I can just select them all and delete them there, because I can just copy. And I need them on 13 and 11. Copy. Paste. 13. 11. Okay. Uh, it's just, okay. I mean, Okay, never mind. See, Revit just does that sometimes. So, copy, paste to selected levels. So, I need 14 and 12 then, because what it's doing is it's copying to the one below. Cool. Um, right, so that's all set now. Our grillage going to go on this no it's going to go on this level no it's not it's not it's going to go on yeah it, either one will work because basically the br uh, beams will take it into the walls will take the forces into the walls and please bear in mind I might change these dimensions I might bring, in fact I am going to do that, I'm going to bring this out here, 1500, yeah so they're 1500 from the edge, from the inside, inside face to the face of that wall, yeah, oh, okay, so, You know what, yeah? I better. I'm not going to edit the video. I'm actually going to show you why this is better. Those core walls are not going to change, yeah? So, I want these to be grouped. Core walls. Zero to twelve, yeah. Come here, get all of these walls, delete them. Well, let me filter to make sure I've only got the walls, yeah. Delete. And now I'm gonna take that group, control C and paste to selected levels. Zero right up to eleven, I think. Yeah. Except 11 was one too many, so I'll delete that one. Now, I'm going to group these. Cool. 12 to 12 at the moment, control C, paste, let me test it, go to 13, roll it, put it, okay, so it seems to do those correctly, paste, 
So select the levels 14 all the way to 30. Now, when I go to level 10 and change this group to 1500, 1500, so finish, all of them will change in the group. Yeah? I mean that ah okay that was the bit inside the core that's why okay so if I hide this say H I uh, H R I'm gonna come in and say hide element and then again hide element you can see those have been widened out say HR now to reset that. Cool, now this is your structure done. Now we can start putting the grillage, which we're gonna put on level 14. Yeah. I mean, we could even put it on level 12 because it, this has a concrete base. Whatever, uh, I'm gonna find, find out more and see you soon but for now this is part one done this is our basic skyscraper well it's not a skyscraper this is our basic building model and now we can start putting this on